Next question. Uh, another uh, question from Down Under. Peter from Western Australia. G'day Dutch. Who was the best and worst jobbers in your time? I'll tell you the best jobbers were the Monkey Brothers. <laughs> That's where I'm watching the Monkey Brothers, they got over getting the dog shit beat out of them. Because they had to be the toughest jobbers around. And nice guys, too. I watched them with the Road Warriors. Oh, it was just a it was just a a feast of brutality. Of course, the monkeys eating all of it up. And but those were the best guys I'd ever seen just for jobbers. And that's where I got my idea for the loser gimmick because they got over in reverse. So I said, what if you made an angle out of this? A guy keeps getting beat, beat. Now you, you make an issue out of it. And I've done it in Florida and I did it in Memphis and I did it in Puerto Rico. It never fails. Takes you about three weeks to get it going. But once it gets going, now the people catch on to the gimmick and they start adding to it. And which means it works better, but they were, they were the, the best jobbers, the worst jobbers. Just, just before you get to the worst, just before you get to the worst, the Mulkey brothers, do you remember, were you there at the time in NWA when they were building up to their big match with the midnight express and like weeks of television was dedicated to them? Yeah. I wasn't there, but I was hearing about it and I wasn't really watching the show that, uh, that much. Where did they have the match? It was in it was in the Mulkey's hometown. I can't think of what the hometown was called. I don't know. Harlan, Kentucky, or something. I don't know. I thought it was some. Uh, I, I thought they were from North Carolina. Bear with me. Just uh, I've, I've spelt the Milky Brothers as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, ooh, I've dropped my phone as well. Let me just pause one sec. All right, back recording again. Sorry, everybody. I couldn't find it. I asked the Echo, and it said St. Louis, and that didn't sound right. Uh, you were about to tell me the worst jobbers or jobber that you ever wrestled. Well, it's not that I ever wrestled. That I wrestled a lot of kind of bad ones. Maybe like a, that's, why they, <laughs> that's kind of why they were jobbers. <laughs> like but like one a professional guy had, jobber who, who, who worked week in, week out. Uh, really the professional jobbers were, they were actually good. I mean, you could do things with them, but just the jobbers, they pull off the independents. I don't even know where they found some of these guys. They have a match somewhere. It was with Sid Vicious, Dan Spivey, <laughs> where they wrestled this guy in his hometown and he decided that he wasn't going to sell these two big guys and he didn't. And they beat the living shit out of him. They finally, they made him, he wanted to do some, because he was his, his family was there, his mother, his father, his brothers, sisters. So he, he went out there and he thought they would work with him a little bit, but they didn't. Of course, they didn't speak about this at all in the back, which I know Sid and Spivey would have vetoed anything as a guy looking good. That's not what the purpose of the match was. The purpose of the match was to get Sid and Spivey looking like killers. And the guys, it's on, it's on the uh, YouTube somewhere. You don't have to look for it now, but he's probably the worst one I ever saw. Yeah, in fact, if you put Sid Dan Spivey, um, I think he's called Blackheart, Rodney Blackheart, something like that. Oh, excuse me. I'm actually watching my own our own video on my own phone. Uh, the first thing that comes up is our video <laughs> of, uh, of us watching it. Mike Blackwell, he was called. 